The past two years have been especially hard on us, and it can be a big first step just to ask for help. The question is, what if that help is hard to find? News Channel 5's Olivia Michael explains why industry leaders are making a historic request to meet growing demand. If you've struggled finding mental health care in Tennessee, you're not alone. I felt like I'd been thrown out into the wild. I had no idea how difficult it would be. Amy Sulam Gibbs says when her daughter recently needed mental help, she couldn't find it. Every therapist said they could see her in, you know, a couple months. And I'm like, she's drowning right now. I don't need you to throw a life preserver for her in a few weeks. I, I need somebody that's going to jump in with me and, and get her out of the pool. Ricky Harris is the CEO of Tennessee Voices, a statewide nonprofit mental health organization. She says it's an issue that's been brewing in Tennessee since before the pandemic. The current workforce needs we have, I would describe our state uh, in crisis right now. That's why she and other industry leaders joined forces to retain and find more behavioral health care workers in the state. It is truly a pleasure to appear before you today to present our budget request for state fiscal year 2023. To do so, they're asking the governor for $59 million. And we believe our budget proposal for this year will help us respond to the greater demonstrated need for services, reduce the gap of unmet need, and provide unprecedented support for the public behavioral health workforce. The budget proposal includes increased funding for things like more competitive wages, sign-on bonuses, and pipeline opportunities for students, like internships and scholarships. This should tell you what the data is saying. This is an indication of how serious our problems are in Tennessee right now around mental health and mental health care. Harris doesn't foresee the need for mental health professionals slowing down. And without the extra funding, she worries the issue will only get worse. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.